Hello everyone, this is Randy here again. Another episode of Farming Simulator 2013. And we are in a Spring Hill Valley here. A very nice looking map, I will have to say. Doing our 1,000 subscriber special. Like I said, we'll do a couple episodes on this map. Way too many people are doing Let's Plays on this map, so I don't won't be uh, doing that. I'll just kind of do a little uh, playthrough on this map. Try out some mods that I've got sitting around that I either haven't used or just really don't fit in with other stuff I'm doing at the moment. Also try out some of my, uh, or retry out some of my favorite mods, I should say. Anyway, we got our John Deere 7810 here and our Vodderstad Cedar. I have used this cedar before, I believe. Pretty sure I have. And this is whatever field this is. Don't know what number that is again, but uh, we're going to plant it. Or I should say I'm going to have course play plant it. Hopefully. That's the plan anyway. Oh, let's see. We are on that one there. And that is field 7. Let's see. Fertilize and seeding mode. Field 7. You know, working with on this, I think it was 6 meters. 6 meters, yes. I'll... Yeah, that should be fine. We'll just leave it at that, I guess. A lot of times, normally, I'll probably actually want to bump it down. Uh, south, I think that actually is that corner. So, north. Go north, yeah, that should work. Let's do four headlands. And drive the course. I will have to say, you pretty much, are, if you're going to use course play on this map, I think you're going to have to have the new version. I mean, there's so many items on this map, you know, to run into that using the new version of course play with all the headlands it'll let you do definitely makes it much, much easier. And uh, do the first one, please, and drive the course. Ridge markers automatic. Oh, will it actually use the ridge markers? I don't think I've actually really ever used course play to seed before. I'm trying to think now. I don't think I really have. I generally use a, just a regular hired worker for it. Which I'm not sure how well that would work. Uh, that probably wouldn't work on this map, I don't think. I might, though. There might be enough room up there. Hard to say. And while we're going around the field here, we'll uh, read off some comments from my last episode. Uh, let's see what's here. What do we have? Uh, Bacon Plays. <laughs> uh, that's a funny name. I like that one. Bacon Plays, huh? I love that bacon. Uh, it says congrats. Uh, Crafts Farms says it sounds like he's working on an edit of this map and is wondering if I will be... Or we will be willing to play it? Uh, possibly. Probably not a full Let's Play on it, though, just because of, like I said before, how many people are doing Let's Plays on this map. Uh, depends on the edit, though, I guess. I mean, if you make it unique enough. I don't know if you... Yeah, I didn't really say what he's all doing to it. I know I heard that a while back that uh, he was working on this map a little bit, so I'm not sure what he's doing to it, but... Uh, Cowman. <laughs> yeah, that's another nice name. Okay. Nice job on the 1,000 uh, subscribers. Uh, you deserve every one of them. Well, thank you. Uh, Matt says I should have picked a different map. Uh, you know, I, I thought about that, too. Like he, say, he says, a lot of people are doing Spring Hill Valley. And he, he's not kidding on that point. Uh, just type in Spring Hill Valley and uh, YouTube search there. And it's like, my goodness. I think I mentioned this last episode too. It's like everybody that uh, is doing it too has, oh, where is it? <laughs> has this tractor. So that's the only reason I have this tractor. I've seen it. it's like, wow. Must be in order to play on this map, you have to have this tractor. So 
Okay, I got that tractor. Like I said, don't really intend on using it, but I do have it there. Okay, let's, uh, we'll head back to mowing. You should be able to handle the seeding. Oh, you know what I should do, too, before we do that, actually? I went ahead and fixed this combine. So now if I go inside, you know, if I look to the right, it looks to the right. And if I go to the left, it goes to the left. And some of those, you may be wondering how to fix that. Um, probably really should do like a tutorial on it or something. But if you open it up in Giants Editor, go find your indoor camera. And then there's uh, multiple sets of XYZ values. Your first set sets the position. Your next set sets the orientation it's looking at. So you want to set the orientation one. You want to set your X to, X to 0, your Y to 180, and your Z to 0. Uh, if you were to open this mod and look at it before I edited it, it, uh, well, that's flashing down there. Uh, it has some random numbers in there. So change that uh, X to 0, the Y to 180, and the Z to 0, and that should fix your camera. Now, it might be a little wonky when you first get into it. I think it actually, if I get out here. So, yeah. The camera, actually, uh, before I edited it, kind of looks down like this. But now it's, like, just straight on. So, depending on the vehicle, it may or may not work. But it will at least fix your right-left issue. Also, I fixed the speed on this. The RPMs were uh, a little off on it. So, and now when it does speed... Two was it? Or speed two? Yeah, I think speed two. No, speed one. Maybe it's speed four. I know one of these does six miles an hour now. Oh, well, they did six miles an hour before anyway. I might have to uh, tweak the RPMs a little more yet, maybe. I tweaked them once already, and I was uh, testing it out on that field over there, and it uh, was doing a constant six mile an hour, so. Thought we had it, but apparently maybe not. I don't know. We'll have to come back to that. Let's uh, start mowing this field then. Uh, Matt also says congrats, by the way. So thank you there. And Zykun plays. He agrees this map has been way overplayed. So. Is that on? Yes, that is on. Okay. And I'm figuring we'll probably get, like, the John Deere round baler over here. Bail these up. Again, it's a mod. You know, I've tested and used it. It's a really good baler, but just never really used it. Number one, I don't do a whole lot of bailing. And number two, it actually produces smaller bales. It's so like my current Iowa map uh, going with the in-game one so I can get the bigger bales. Unfortunately, it's a little too small for that map. Generally speaking, I tend to play the larger maps, so that's why I, I usually don't use a lot of the smaller equipment. Oop, that turned didn't turn out well. Oh well. I will have to say I like this uh, speed rower. Not the greatest model, mind you, but I'm going to have to find an excuse somehow to uh, fit it into a Let's Play at some point. Maybe if uh, Craft Farms comes out with this map, maybe we'll do like another little uh, boat on this map or something. I can uh, find an excuse to use it again. Again, I'll have to see what's what he's doing to his map to uh, you know, see what's what he's done to it, so... Uh, John Deere, uh, no, I thought it was a 7810. Now there it says a 7710. Interesting. Now, I'm not entirely sure why it's leaving grass on the this hill here. I'm not sure if there's something wrong with this mower or just some non-mobile grass there. I will have to say, it does turn around very quickly. I 
Okay, that should do it for this field for now. Now, let's see, can we get through this gate here? Should be able to. That was the first thing I thought of when I bought this. Like, ooh, this is a large vehicle. That might be a problem, but... Uh, Either you can clip... Nah, it doesn't look like you can clip through this. Apparently you must be able to clip through this a little bit. So it makes it just uh, wide enough you can actually get it through there. Nothing model under there, is there? That's fine, I guess. Can't see under there anyway. Wow, you did rather poor job on that field. Oh, well, that's fine. I don't really don't care. Probably actually will never get around to actually harvesting it anyway, so... Although we might, I'm not sure. You know, I was thinking if we get to uh, 2,000 subscribers, I might do a, like another little, uh, you know, subscriber special. Maybe we'll do this map again or something. Do like another four or five episodes. I don't know. We'll see once. Of course, by then there might be another map that's even better that comes out. But uh, let's recreate another course for this one then. This is field six. I was going to guess field eight, but okay. should actually be fine. I think we can leave everything the same. Generate that. First waypoint. Excellent. Drive the course. And ridge markers. Actually, you know what? Can I turn them manually? Do manual, I guess. Let's just leave them off so he doesn't do what he did on that field there. Okay, and then let's grab our... I don't want that one. I don't want that one either, actually. I want the John Deere, maybe? Nah, let's grab the farm all. We'll grab the John Deere for the baler, maybe. Probably not big enough to handle that baler, but we'll use it anyway. Assuming it'll pull it. Let's grab our... Tether slash rake over here. Interesting, you're not going to hook up. Wrong type of hitch, maybe? That's definitely the right kind of hitch on there. No question about that. Apparently it must not be considered the right type, though. Okay, let's try the John Deere, then. Nice to see they actually uh, took the time to actually put a somewhat correct sound on this. They actually pretty much do sound like this. Got that good uh, putt putt sound going to them. Of course, you got the rather large. Uh, actually, that's not that large of a steering wheel there. I'm not sure if this particular one would have power steering or not. Model A, I'm guessing probably not. That's the reason they have the uh, larger steering wheel. This might make it interesting to get out of here. I want to go this way. Okay, I was hoping it would actually get in line behind us a little better. I think we'll be able to make it, though, assuming the road doesn't narrow down too much. I have found you do not want to get off these bridges here. You get off the road and you will get stuck. Uh-oh. Yeah, 
Just like that. And even though we're really not that stuck, there's something about the edges there it gets stuck on. Also, something flashing over there. I'm not sure what's up with that. There we go. Use the old connect disconnect trick. Anyway, folks, I will uh, pause the recording and we'll be back once I'm over there. Okay, folks, and we made it over here without a further incident. Good thing. Let's see what's here. We want to set this up in tether mode windrow. Let's. I don't think we need to tether it. I think that John Deere Baylor will do it either way, if I remember correctly. Let's do windrow. Kind of uh, saves a step there. Okay, that's windrow mode, apparently. And then lower the wheels. Let's see, we're going to want to... Yeah, we're not going to want to go that way around the field. We're going to want to go around up that way. Uh, it does disconnect it from the tractor, by the way, when you put it in the uh, wind row or tether mode, whichever mode you choose to use. Let's see here. That would be the first one right there from the looks of it. drive too fast. Oops. Probably the fact I was going down the hill. I think I'll just uh, leave that actually because just turn this off. I'd have to get off, turn it off. Can't actually turn it off from in the tractor, I don't think. No. Now I know sometimes, uh, that's probably more on the newer models anyway, they'll put like a, some levers or even a rope or some type of, you know, something up by the track here so you can actually turn it on and off from the track without having to get off and out. Oh, is that, uh, that's supposed to be speed too, seems kind of slow. Give her some more gas. Try speed three. It's probably going to start complaining. Well, actually, no, it might not. This tractor doesn't go that fast, so it might actually let us go this fast. No, nope, no, it won't. Okay. Good to know. I'll just have to remember that going down or up the hill, I can actually go faster. I did uh, put the ES limiter in, but I'm not sure why. It's not actually working, so... Uh, this tractor acts like it's pulling hard. This thing shouldn't pull that hard. Uh, John Deere's finished already. Sure doesn't take him long to uh, plant the fields. You know, I'm used to uh, most of the maps I play, it's like a multi-episode uh, planting for a field. At least if I do the entire field on the screen, anyway. And then we'll do, I think, what they normally do, at least around by me anyway, they'll combine anywhere from one to three, or either from two to three rows into one. So, looks like in this case it's going to be two rows, just the way it works out.
Yeah, it should be making one nice wind row there. Except for maybe going around the turns, then it might get a little wide. Well, I have to say, anti mining definitely put a lot of work into this map. There's a lot of detail here. I mean, all the walls around the fields, gates, trees, the terrain is very hilly. You know, technically, I probably don't actually have to do this either. I could probably just start bailing it. But then uh, there goes our excuse for actually using this thing. It's too bad they don't actually come out with a newer uh, one. I'd love to see one of those. Uh, one of the newer, larger models, that is. The, you know, one of the modern equivalents to these. They haven't really uh, changed that much, though. Although I think... They're probably actually running off the PTO now, I think, a lot of them sometimes, anyway. Depending on what you're doing, anyway. And a lot of times there'll be uh, a V-shaped type of thing going on. Yeah, it looks like that uh, speed roller there is just about the right width for this. Could be a little bit wider maybe, but... Or this thing could be a little bit smaller, I guess, depending on which way you want to go, but... Yeah, it looks like it's almost the perfect width for taking two of these rows and combining them into one. Now, it's always amazing to see the amount of difference there is between, you know, American equipment and uh, European equipment. This, I would, at least for my area anyway, is the more common type of rake you would see. Whereas, you know, if you look at the in-game here, you see these type of wind rowers. Don't, uh... I think our local uh, dealer actually does have some of those types of rakes, but did, uh, I can't say I really have ever seen them used. So, and it's more of this style, just you know the modern equivalent of it, obviously. That's probably one of the reasons I like it. You know, I tend to uh, like the equipment that I actually know or I've seen used or that's used in our area.
Okay, and just so we can't say we've been playing in the grass all day, let's go do some, actually, let's do some combining here. I will, maybe I'll finish this up off screen here, don't have a whole lot left to go. And then we'll come back next episode, bail it up, and uh, see how that uh, mixing wagon works, hopefully. I don't think we'll have to do up another field, uh, one field there should be good enough. It's not like we're doing an extended let's play on this map, so... see if I got this combine. Actually, no, let me stop this guy first so that message goes away. Cool. <clears throat> and see if I got this speed right finally. Yeah, seven miles an hour. That might be, uh, uh it's not complaining though. Oh, there it went. Ah, uh, this is a multi-fruit combine, by the way. It, uh, supports like everything I was uh, looking at the uh, code you know obviously for the the speed issues that it's having and I noticed the crop types it supports there's quite a long list so it's definitely a multi-fruit combine uh, the head I'm not so sure about actually I think the head I found it I show you guys here a minute nope, I passed it uh, we need harvesters Let's see, John Deere. Uh, nope, that's not the head I'm using. Ah, yes, there's the combine. And I believe this is actually the head for it, the John Deere 319. I did not think this was the head for it, because it actually doesn't fit this combine. Or not properly, anyway. So I was figuring maybe this combine, or this head went with this combine. But it actually looks like this is the correct head for it. It just, when you actually attach it, it doesn't actually attach on properly. So, that's the reason we're actually using uh, this one here, the 625. This is actually the one for the 650. Just because it actually fits on there better. So, oh, that was too fast. It's actually a speed one for this combine. really like what they've uh, done with these tracks. Nice to see they've actually taken you all know, the time to properly animate them. They're not just some silly looking thing. They actually do go around. Look pretty nice too, I will have to say. Uh, 30,000 capacity grain tank, I believe it was, I've seen in the code. So that is a uh, mite ridiculous. You know, if I was doing a proper let's play on this, I would probably uh, change that. Maybe like 5,000 or something, that'd probably be a little closer to being more realistic. Uh, speaking of more realistic, uh, that will uh, continue its normal, uh, normally what I'm doing there. That should be five days a week. I'm not uh, changing that because of the 1,000 subscriber special. That is still going like it normally would, so those of you wondering about that, it's just my Iowa and Professional Farmer Let's Play that I've... Uh, Kind of taking a little break f from for uh, like a week here. Yeah, I do something a little different. Not that it's entirely that different. We're still playing farming sim. Uh, for those of you... Wondering what I may be doing with the channel. Plan on uh, keeping it mostly farming sim related. Might not necessarily be farming sim itself, but, uh, you know, professional farmer, farming simulator, etc. Of course, there might be a little more forestry involved into it, in it too once uh, Farming Sim 15 comes out. I heard they are working on a new trailer for Farming Sim 15. I'm not sure if they've come with, out with it yet, but they're working on it. I think uh, they said maybe the official trailer, I think it was, or something like that. So, it'd be nice to see what they actually uh, show in that. You know, so far they haven't said a whole lot about it, really.
Yeah, that other head that actually goes with this combine, I think is actually about the same size. It's a little bit smaller, but not a whole lot smaller, so. And I'm just guessing the 619, that's probably like 19 feet. 625, I believe, is 25 feet. I believe that's how uh, John Deere measures their combines. That last two digits there is the width of the combine head. Approximately, anyway. Anyway, folks, I think with that, uh, we better call it an episode there. So if folks have any comments or questions, uh, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and till the next episode.